That's Melissa. We're lucky. I mean, we do have fog, but you don't have to shovel the fog, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Good point. Yeah, some of us wish we could shovel it. Uh, but yeah, it really doesn't cause any major problems. I mean, the lack of rain is becoming a problem for us, but that's about it. Uh, not causing any economic problems really for us here across the state of Oregon. And this morning, taking a look at the satellite and radar picture, a few clouds left over from that very weak cold front that moved through last night. Uh, we even got a little bit of light rain up north, and it was fun to see those clouds roll in at the same time that that fog dissipated here in the southern Willamette Valley. And you can see that here on the satellite picture. So here's the clock at the top of your screen. We'll put this back to yesterday morning. There's that dense fog, but midday that did break up here for the second half of the day in the Eugene area. At the same time, we started to see those high cirrus clouds. Those are those thin, wispy, feather-like clouds that moved in. And then in behind that, we had those stratus clouds, which did form along the coast. That's that sheet-like cloud uh, that did bring in a little bit of rainfall here to the northern coast. But for us, it was enough of the movement of the air to actually help to burn through that fog in the second half of the day. For the folks up north, first rain they've seen in a while. Astoria actually picked up six hundred seven inch of rainfall, uh, but didn't see any official rain make its way over the coast range until you do head up to western Washington. So for us this morning, that fog has reformed, but not as thick as past days. Visibility at a mile right now in Eugene and five miles uh, up in Corvallis. Roseburg, it's a little bit thicker for you. You did see clear skies a little bit sooner. Uh, so only seeing half of a mile visibility there. So again, it's still patchy out there. I uh, do make sure you just take it nice and slow. Head out to the coast, clear bend uh, in North Bend, I should say. Newport at five miles there. And it's also clear as you head over to Central Oregon. So this morning, temperatures are also a warmer because of those clouds 36 degrees in Eugene and 37 in Salem head out to the coast it's back to the low to mid 40s for you and as you head over to Bend a uh, chilly start to the day 19 even cooler further east you head into Burns just eight there this morning so that high pressure it's still sticking with us adjusting well up into northern Canada and this pattern is pretty much going to hold here for the next seven day stretch so still no rain inside there is a slight change though over the next couple of days but we're going to see some very strong east winds coming down over the Cascades and up the Columbia River Gorge and that'll help to clear out that fog at least for the second half of the day in the Southern Valley and it's going to keep the coast very clear again that's going to start tonight it'll continue all the way through Friday then as that high pressure sort of starts to move inland we'll see how those east winds shut down and that fog will thicken up as we head into this weekend you can see on stormcast again cloudy and some fog this morning does break up this afternoon completely clear for the coast uh, later on today and then as we head into Thursday, morning fog and back to that afternoon sunshine. So for those of you along the coast, just a couple degrees cooler today. Again, still rebounding behind that cold front. So high temperatures back to the low 50s, becoming sunny. Winds out of the northeast, and again, those will be much stronger tomorrow. The Umqua Basin upper 40s and low 50s for you. Also seeing a little bit of patchy fog out there this morning, but still mostly sunny, dry this afternoon. Still dry, sunny across the Cascades. Snow level about 8,000 feet. Central Oregon back into the upper 40s and low 50s. Still in the 20s tonight. Uh, otherwise, staying mild with those light winds. And for the valley, high temperatures back into the mid 40s today. Dense fog this morning, becoming sunny sunny this afternoon. And here's a look at that seven day forecast Thursday and Friday. We're talking 60s at the coast and again, still no rain in sight. The Umqua Basin will be in the upper 40s and low 50s all week. Morning fog, afternoon sunshine, still sunny and dry across the Cascades with highs in the low to mid 40s. And for the Willamette Valley, again, mid 40s the next couple days, low 40s through the weekend. Uh, get out there and enjoy that sunshine when it does break in the second half of the day.